was surprising the uh, the away match back in September finished as a nil nil draw. There have not been many of those this season for Oldham. No, and, and Wilson were really good in the, in that game. It was a big big game for Oldham because we came in on the back of uh, two defeats against Bromley and uh, and Barnet. Good ball there out to. Uh, Obiero cuts inside, gets a shot away, well saved there by uh, Ethan Ross, punching it away to safety. And out for another Wheelstone throw, five minutes gone. Yeah, Obiero's a, a dangerous uh, player, he's cutting uh, inside well there, decent uh, strike, good save uh, by uh, Ethan Ross. N not dissimilar, nowhere near as spectacular, but not dissimilar to the, uh, the Dan Mooney uh, goal on Saturday. Altrincham with uh, nine men back behind the ball. Good ball. Shot comes in, parried there by uh, Ethan Ross, and eventually Altrincham able to clear the ball up towards the halfway line. But again, space opening up there for the uh, the shot. Yeah, nice, uh, nice play from the Stones. Uh, their good uh, approach play, and Ethan Ross electing to uh, punch and making the uh, the taking the safe uh, opportunity. There's moments of concern here, I think, for Phil Parkinson and Neil Sorville because uh, Altrincham are giving the ball away cheap, cheaply on a few occasions. Uh, Eddie Jones, that was a really poor uh, poor ball. George Wilson also has misplaced a couple of uh, passes. A good ball out to Barrett. He's got acres of space to uh, control it and get a dangerous cross in, and that was a good effort coming in there. Fortunately for Altrincham, it was... Uh, across the face of the goal I think it was um, Dooku Dooku who uh, was almost on the end of it and if he'd have got a touch on that that would have been 1-0 to Wheelston fantastic delivery uh, there from uh, Mason uh, Barrett in acres of space down by the corner flag but magnificent uh, delivery and Altrincham have to defend a corner here this is the first corner of the match if I'm not mistaken good little spell here for uh, for the Stones well, it's a dangerous in swinging corner only half cleared by uh, Ethan Ross but uh, Linney completes the clearance up to Con Clark. Now then, it's a great ball forward now for Newby. He's in on the keeper. Oh, great challenge coming in there. Charlie Barker it was who uh, got back on uh, on Newby there and uh, a fantastic challenge. Well, magnificent, uh, magnificent challenge, but uh, Alex Newby really should have been able to pull the uh, trigger there. The Londoners uh, are looking confident. Um, they're passing the ball better than Altrincham. They're certainly giving it away on fewer occasions. Good ball forward now, looking for Kretschmar. Kretschmar forward to Mason. Mason, oh, what's a good uh, play? Could be dangerous now. Shot comes in. Great save there by Ethan Ross, and that was uh, Manny uh, Duku who got the shot in there and uh, really he should have done better but uh, all credit to Ethan Ross there and pulling off a, a fantastic save but that's certainly this, the save of the game but uh, Wheelstone once again carved their way through Aldrin good cross came in from the left and Duku had uh, plenty of uh, good sight of goal but it's a really good save by uh, the Aldringham keeper corner comes in and that is the first goal of the afternoon and it's uh, the captain Jack Cook came in stolen at the front post this time the previous corner was at the back post he got the header away but he's come across the area got a header in from about six yards and uh, Wheelston a goal up after 33 minutes well it has been uh, coming it's a very simple goal in the end uh, Jack Cook who's very strong in the air but he almost had to stoop to head that was a glide guided the header uh, from the straight from the uh, corner but Altrincham all at sea at the moment Osborne again trying to uh, get the ball in for Newby. He can get there if he can keep it in, he can. Plays it back to Con Clark. What can Con Clark do? Oh, Connish comes in. It's a goal though. Alex Newby finishes it off. In fact, it was, was it Chris Con Clark? I think it was, wasn't it? Well, what a fantastic goal that is. And that's all started from Elliot Osborne. Magnificent ball, beautifully weighted ball through to uh, Alex uh, Newby. Newby's picked out 
Chris Conclark. First touch was sublime from Chris Conclark. Then it looked like he was absolutely bundled over. But as we were all waiting to see whether the referee had awarded a penalty or not, and he hadn't, there was uh, Newby, who's buried it into the far corner. And Altrium, who've really been outplayed in this first half, are back in it level after 36 minutes. That was uh, Newby's 11th goal of the season, two in two matches now. And you've got to say that's a bit of a bonus for Altrincham based on the. Uh, the it's first a huge. It's a huge bonus. James managed to get a bit of a head on it. Back to uh, Ethan Ross. Well, let's hope that uh, that uh, goal really settles Alty down because. We really lost our, our way for 15, uh, 20 uh, minutes and, and right back in it now. Now then, Con Clark picks the ball up well, running at the defence, gets it out to Newby. Newby, oh, again, he's put it wide. He should have really done better there. It was a great opportunity. There's uh, Alton off some... Uh, Defending to be, Cooper getting the ball forward to uh, Mooney. Mooney uh, inside to Wilson. Wilson getting the ball forward, looking for uh, Linney. Linney unable to uh, get in behind the defender, but uh, Dewhurst in the uh, Wheelstone goal forced to clear it early. Ball out to Newby. Nice flick forward for Con Clark. Con Clark back to Newby in behind the defence. Can he pull the ball back? Does so, but uh, shot. Yeah! Half. George Wilson coming in from the edge of the 18 yard box. Great pass from uh, Alex Newby and Altingham take the lead in the second minute of the second half. And that's uh, George Wilson's first goal for the club, if I'm not mistaken. It's his first National League goal for the club. He did score in the Cheshire Senior Cup against Stanley Bridge Celtic earlier in uh, the season. But what a magnificent uh, strike! And Alex Newby's done superbly well, fine run down the left, pulled it back and a magnificent, uh, a magnificent strike and it was Newby who started it off with a clever flick to uh, Chris Con-Clark, Con-Clark uh, back to Newby, Newby pulled it back and the onrushing uh, George Wilson has fired it into the back of the net, first National League goal for George uh, Wilson and Altrincham have turned it round here, what a great time to score a goal. Wheelstone will be really disappointed uh, with that. Oh, there's an oh, opportunity here for Liddy. Can he make it three? Can he do? He can, he can, he can. Oh, oh a just goal. over oh, the bar. Took a deflection and just goes over the uh, crossbar there of Marcus Dewis. And that could quite easily have been 3 1. But uh, Alton have the corner. I was convinced uh, Regan that he was going to make it 3 1 there. But a uh, great block uh, in, uh, in the end. Yeah, Jack Cook uh, caught in possession then, again not for the first time uh, this evening, uh, good player, the, uh, the, the man who scored the opening goal of the night uh, and the only goal so far for Wheelstone. Newly again inside to Osborne. Baines now space ahead of him to bring the ball forward. Osborne now again bringing the ball forward. That's a good ball inside. The full back for Mooney. First time cross. A hey! great goal there. Fantastic build up there. Out to Mooney. Mooney plays it in. And there was Lewis Bantz to finish the move off. And the ball to Dewar's left into the corner. 3 1 Altrincham. That is a terrific goal. And uh, what a magnificent ball from uh, Elliot Osborne. Uh, through to uh, Dan Mooney, he's pulled it across and Lewis Banks has got into some good positions uh, this evening, has drilled it, it's given, uh, given Dewhurst no chance uh, whatsoever, but sublime ball from uh, Osborne into Mooney, Mooney's pulled it across with his right foot and there is Lewis Banks with the most uh, superb uh, finish and uh, he really deserves that, Lewis uh, Banks had an excellent game on Saturday, dodgy start this evening but uh, He's given the Altrincham a two-goal advantage. 
perhaps is. No one challenges it. And allows Mundell Smith to get his uh, head on it. Now then, Chris Con Clark battling there. He's been held back. Manages to retain possession. That's a great effort there from the uh, corner of the area from Chris Con Clark. And you wouldn't be grudging having an effort from there because we know what he's capable of. Unfortunately, there by Banks, the first touch would have found Minnie, but he got the re rebound. Throw quickly taken. Cissé now the substitute. Uh, Con Clark wrestles the ball back. Got Linney on the outside. Is he going to take it himself? He has. He puts it to Mooney, and again Mooney. Oh, what was he doing there? It was a great ball in by Chris Con Clark, and all he has to do was hit the target, and he's managed somehow to uh, screw the ball wide, and uh, that could quite easily have been 4-1. Now then, poor pass from Clark into Linney. Linney, great shot comes in, gets the rebound. Hey! Oh, on. Regan Linney it was, his first shot came back off uh, Marcus Dewhurst, fell back into him. And there was Regan Linney to finish it off with the second attempt. And Altingham 4-1 to the good. Well... Altium are guilty of giving the ball away a lot in their own half in the first half and Wilson have uh, done it quite a few times now in this half and Chris Conclark has capitalised on an error there uh, it, was, it was poor play, I think it was Jack Cook again very, very poor pass Conclark's slipped the ball into uh, Linney Linney's shot saved by Dewhurst and then, I think it was Linney who knocked it, was it? George Wilson was there as well but uh, Linney has knocked the ball in Ball into the near post, headed clear. As far as uh, Young, who tries to hook the ball back, and there is the final whistle. Much to the delight of the uh, 1,703 uh, Alton supporters. Final score here at the J. Davidson Stadium, Altingham 4, Wilston 1.